In this video, we'll be looking at a process called polymerase chain reaction, which is uh, PCR. Uh, PCR is a classic or very important step in DNA manipulation uh, because this process is actually artificial DNA replication where we can amplify DNA fragments for further processing and study. So for example, in a forensic situation, we can extract some DNA from um, a strand of hair or you know some skin tissues however there won't be a lot of dna in there uh, not at least not enough for actual study or to generate a dna profile so therefore we need to make more of it so almost like increasing its concentration so we can generate a strong enough dna pattern or dna profile for us to actually do anything with it so uh, here we'll talk about the process of it it's used in a lot of different situations so it is important to know how it works there are three steps in PCR. One is denaturation, then is annealing, and then is synthesis or amplification. So the first stage here is denaturation. So as you can see here, I've got a strand of DNA, or a section of it at least. Uh, so imagine that it's a very long strand, but this is the only chunk that I want to amplify. Now PCR happens uh, in a machine called thermocycler, and what it does is that we can put all of the ingredients in it, and it changes its temperature at set times, uh, allowing PCR to happen in a cycle, so it's a continuous thing. So in the very beginning, it is at 95 degrees Celsius, so it's quite hot, and that is where denaturation occurs. The molecules will gain in kinetic energy because of the heat, so what happens is they will break the hydrogen bonds between the complementary bases uh, within the strand like that. So we are separating the, the, the DNA strands. So it will become something like this. So in this second stage, uh, the thermocycler is going to reset the temperature uh, and decrease it down to 55 degrees Celsius. And at that point, this is annealing of the primers. Primers are short DNA sequences that uh, will bind to the start of the gene that you want to amplify. But like I said, this it, there, imagine that there is actually a really long DNA strand here, but I only want this bit to be amplified. So I can design a primer that is complementary to the bases uh, here which is part of the gene. And so therefore, when they bind to it, the, um, the machine will know that, okay, we're gonna continue adding on the bases after that. So in this particular case, if this primer anneals there, then we will need a primer that looks like this. Whereas for this particular uh, strand, it will need a primer like this. So they just basically pair up by complementary base pairing. So this is the final stage where we uh, synthesize the new strand of DNA. Here we got three nucleotides uh, pairing up to the exposed bases by complementary base pairing. And uh, instead of using the normal human DNA, we use TAC polymerase, which is from bacteria found in hot springs. Um, and they will join up the backbone of the new strand forming phosphodiester bonds. And the reason why we don't use human DNA polymerase is because it will denature at 72 degrees Celsius. And also remembering that we put everything in the machine in the, in the get-go. So actually, it will denature at that point. And, but the thing is, we need that particular process to be at that temperature uh, for denaturation to happen. So that's why we need a particular enzyme, uh, a particular polymerase that will withstand as high as 95 degrees Celsius. And TAC polymerase is the one that, it, that was used classically. And then finally, at the end of it, it will form two new strands and they both undergo the same process over and over again, forming a cycle. However, I have made a mistake in this particular case where uh, the primer, I've drawn them to be joining up at the two ends there. However, one should be joining up that point and the other one should be joining up that point because keeping in mind that they both, that DNA polymerase can only operate from five prime to three prime. So in this particular case, imagine that both strands have five prime there uh, but in reality it wouldn't be the case one of them would be here so apologies for that mistake so there you have it this is a pcr polymerase chain reaction for a quick recap we've got our dna here we put it into a thermocycle with all of the other ingredients and we put it at 95 degrees celsius where it undergoes denaturation in this case it will get so hot uh, the molecules will be moving a lot by um, because of the increasing kinetic energy breaking the hydrogen bonds in between separating the to the two strands and it, we lower the temperature to 55 degrees celsius uh, where we the primers will anneal well we can also design these primers to recognize the specific start of the gene that we target to amplify then uh, we turn up the temperature up to 72 degrees celsius 
and uh, free nucleotides will then pair up to the exposed bases by complementary base pairing. And TAC polymerase will be at optimum temperature at 72 and will then catalyze the formation of phosphodiester bonds to join up the new sugar phosphate backbone of the new strand. And then these two new DNA molecules will then go on and repeat the same PACR cycle over and over again.